Hey everybody, it's Candace. Um, I have a couple reasons for making this video. The first one was I said in my update that I would show y'all my other protein that I drink, and it is this. Um, it's Super Whey Protein Shot. Um, it's got 26 grams of protein. Um, 110 calories, which I know seems like a lot, depending. Um, one carbohydrate, no sugars, you know. Um, I get the fruit punch flavor because I saw that Walmart sells at, by my house. And I just mix it with, cool, um, like, sugar-free Kool-Aid or Crystal Light, something like that. Um, and it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's really disgusting and smells like protein when you just open it the way it is. But when you mix it with Kool-Aid and stuff, you can hardly even taste it other than the fruit punchy flavor. So that is one reason. The other reason I'm making this video is because um, I was supposed to work last night, and I went to work. And um, when I got there, a couple hours into work, I tried to eat dinner. And I had about three tiny little bites of my dinner, and I um, felt like it just wasn't going down at all. So I ended up throwing up, and I had this really terrible, terrible pain right here. And it would go come and go, you know, within minutes. But, I mean, it was some of the worst pain ever. Um, and also, I kept, other than vomiting a couple of times, I kept having this really thick foam, just, it's almost like I was burping it up, but it was just coming up, just by itself, just this thick white foam coming up with, you know, what I could tell some of the, with the flavor of the stuff I had eaten. It was really gross. Um, and I called my surgeon while I was at work. Um, of course, my boss was like, go ahead and go. I had to have Todd come pick me up because I couldn't drive that way. And um, I talked to the surgeon, and he said that it sounded like I had a stricture, which um, it's where the, uh, the pouch meets the small intestine, and it's now swollen or, or sh you know, constricted. And so it's taking a while for stuff to go down, and it seems like um, food is, I guess, not wanting to go down. So I went to, he told me to go to the doctor's office this morning, or if the pain, you know, I couldn't get any relief at all, then he would admit me last night. But I ended up getting better last night. Um, he said, don't eat anything, just only drink. Go to the doctor's office first thing this morning. So I went there, and they sent me to... Baptist to have um, another upper GI um, gastrographin swallow study, which was so disgusting. It was the same stuff that I had to have the um, that I did the study with the day after my surgery. It's the most disgusting stuff ever. If you've ever had a gastrographin swallow study done, um, and uh, the radio radiology tech lady said that. Um, it looked like it was taking a while for it to for the liquid to empty out of my pouch, saying it looked a little swollen down there. Um, um they're also going to set me up an appointment with the GI doctor this week, so that they can take a camera down and look and scope me, see if they, you know, see what they see, and if it looks like it needs it, then what they do is they stick a tube with a balloon on it, and then they inflate the balloon where it's constricted. To dilate it so we'll see what happens with that this week um today i just had the upper gi and saw the doctor or actually i saw the nurse practitioner judy but he's aware of it and um so we'll see what happens with that i cannot eat anything i've been forbidden to eat can only drink so yay <laughs> So uh, I guess I will uh, talk to y'all later, and if any of y'all have had this same problem, you know, let me know, or if you have any questions, ask me, and I will talk to y'all later, okay?